taking my Milani Prime Shield. Howdy Hail. And I'm just gonna put that everywhere because everywhere it needs to be primed on me. I'm gonna pretend that I'm totally color correct with my NYX Color Correcting Concealer. I think I'm gonna use my little, I have a brush that I use for this sometimes. Um, I'm gonna take this as a little Eco Tools brush, since all I use it for, as you can tell. Um, just gonna take the green color and put that where, you know, it's needed, which is, you know, everywhere. I have a tiny little sample of the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I just take it and hope it's my shade now. <laughs> it's a little bit dark, but you can totally work with it, I think. I swear there's so much left in this container. I wonder if I can like get in there with a brush or anything and scoop it out. I really want to purchase this foundation. I just don't wear like heavy, heavy, heavy coverage very often at all. All right, we're taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and blending it in. I love this foundation, y'all. I've used the sample up so fast. So now that we have that foundation on, I'm going to take a lot of my Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the shade 10 Light. It's too dark for me, but I'm going to take my white foundation and fuck up my life, probably. I hope this works out. Oh yay! It totally will, maybe. I mean, the foundation's supposed to be full coverage, so. And I'm not too worried about coverage. Okay, we're gonna take my beauty blender. Blend that in a bit my eyes. I'm gonna blend it in on my chin. Hope that lightened up. Take that white foundation and blend it in on my eyelid, kind of as a priming thing. And then I'm going to set my right one first because it has this massive crease in it all the time. I don't know what to do with my eyes. I don't know if I want to do anything special or I just want to try to keep it simple. I'm going to take this brown. Brown. I'm gonna use it kind of as like a bronzing contour base, which I totally believe that is not what it's for actually, but just a little something. Set the rest of my face. I'm gonna take Rimmel Stain Matte Powder and do that whole shebang. I always, always, always um, set my face. I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and Light Bronzer. <laughs> Basically put the bronzer um, everywhere. While I have my bronzer out, I'm gonna kind of put that in my on my eyelid as my transition crease all over, whatever. This is Stomper. I think that's what it's called. It's kind of rubbed off. It's just a ColourPop gel liner. I'm gonna run that on my lower lashes. I'm gonna take actually the brown shade in the Bomb a Petite palette um, called Ray Sin Bread Raisin Bread. You know, yeah. It's just a really basic brown shade. I'm gonna take that on this brush and kind of blend out what I put on the lash line. actually going to just take the shade Rocky Road Ice Cream, which is like a dark purple shimmery shine, and we're just going to take that on a lid and use essentially any purpley shadow. That's the thing with makeup, because you can literally do whatever with it. It's all one to his own. 
that made no sense. Is that even? All right. I drink my coffee. I think if you wanted, you could add eyeliner to this, or you know, whatever you feel like. I'm gonna take a little bit of the color right next to it. That's a little bit of a lighter sparkle color. Tate R Tots. Tater Tots. Uh, and put it on the inner half of my lid. I don't know if it'll make much of a difference. I'm do what I did on the upper lid with the eyeliner, just under the lash line. We're gonna take the same flat shader brush I used with Ray Seenbridge, pale brown, and we're gonna try to smoke this out really carefully. We're gonna add some of the purple eyeshadow here and kind of put that like under. I'm gonna use this Lancome um, cream. Highlighter. The shade is called Perfect Pink. This one doesn't do anything too funky when I put it over my uh, powders. This is the Makeup Revolution um, Shimmer Brick. Okay, the fact of the matter is I'm over highlighting right now. I'm very aware that I'm over highlighting. Don't do it, kids. Don't do it. Yes, I am way like over highlighted right now. I don't care. I'm gonna pop on my lip color actually. I'm gonna use this is point zero lip color pop. Pop that on real quick. It's a very cool toned brown. We're actually gonna use the blush from this Lancome duo. I know that reflection just hit y'all. My little BH Cosmetics brush. This is the Hypnos Drama from the Lancome. I'm gonna pop that on my lashes. Looking funky. I'm gonna add some of my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Blackmore. Pop that over my other one. I really don't do my eyebrows, y'all. I just pop some gel through them. I don't feel a need really to do mine. In mine, just take any product really heavily. Pop on a little bit of inner corner highlight. Just a dabble. If it's a grungy look, we don't really need the highlighter. So, this is the finished look. I'm not a makeup artist by any means at all. I'm really simple with most of my makeup. Not crazy, you know? Um, but I think it's just really fun. You can express yourself. There's so many different ways to do it. Everybody's is different. Um, I just kind of think makeup is amazing in that way. And I mean, some people create real, real fucking art, man. I'm gonna spit this my face real quick. This is the finished look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll catch you guys around on the next video. Thank you so much. I put that shit on everything. Let's go out.